Hello class, this is section 5.5 and in this video we are going to discuss Lagrange's identity and Green's formula. First, we define this linear operator over here and this looks almost like the sturm Liouville equation except that we're missing the part of the sigma. The reason that we introduce this notation is that this allows us to write our sturm Liouville equation in a slightly different form. So when we simplify the whole first part of it, we just get LF plus lambda sigma x fx equals zero as our sturm Liouville equation, where lambda is the eigenvalue and f is, of course, the corresponding eigenfunction. Now let u and v be two functions, not necessarily two eigenfunctions, but just two functions that depend on x. And we can write the difference between u lv and v lu as follows. So remember that l of v is just going to be the derivative of p times dv dx plus qv. So u lv just involves slapping a u in front of the both of those terms. And the v lu term, which we are subtracting, is the same thing, except we just replace the v with u and the u with v, switch them around. What's nice about this is that we can see that the uqv term and the vqu term cancel out and we are just left with this last term over here, just the u d of uh, p dv dx and v d dx p du dx. We can make this expression a little nicer still by use of the product rule. So if we differentiate the term u times p dv dx, and we're going to leave the p and dv dx together, even though p is a function of x, what we obtain is this expression over here, du dx, we differentiate the u term first, and we leave the p dv dx term alone, and then we leave the u alone and differentiate the p dv dx term. So the point is that we have an expression that involves the u d dx p dv dx term. And we can do the same thing for the other expressions, replacing the v and the u. And we get an expression for the other term. And this gives us a new way to write down ulv minus vlu. So let's just redo that. For the first term, we replace this u d d x p d v d x term with the stuff in pink. So we end up with d d x u times p dv dx over here, this term over here, but we have to subtract this du dx p dv dx term as well. So we have minus du dx times p dv dx. And then the same thing with the second term, except we just replace all the v's with u's and all the u's with v's once more. So we have d dx v p du dx minus dv dx p du dx. And once more, we have a nice subtraction because this du dx p dv dx term over here cancels out with the dv dx p du dx term over here. And we are left with a rather nice equation that ulv minus vlu is just going to be the derivative of u p dv dx minus v p du dx. And we can of course factor out the p as well. Move this p and that p and bring it out that way. This is a formula known as Lagrange's formula, or Lagrange's identity, rather. This seems a bit unnecessary, but as we will see in the coming few videos, it's going to be very, very useful. And we can also integrate this on both sides, from A to B, to get another important formula. So when we do that, we take the integral from A to B, 
of u l v minus v l u dx. Remember that u and v are all functions of x. The derivative cancels out, so we're just left with p u dv dx minus v du dx. But all this taken from x equals a to b. And this is a formula known as Green's identity. Or Green's formula, rather. I'm bungling all the words today. Both of these will turn out to be very useful in proving all these term Liouville theorems that we talked about. And the next videos will show you how we can use them.